Hey guys, this is Martin again from Bug Bounty Service, and today I'm going to show you another vulnerability. In fact, it's a vulnerability chain, um, some information disclosures, which ultimately lead to the full compromise of the administrator account and then reveals sensitive information. So let's get started. I have an admin panel here. Um, if I try various email and password combinations, I don't have any success. So what I typically do is I head over to Burp and take a look what has been gone through effectively. So number one here is, well, this is the call to the admin panel and nothing really exciting in here. Um, it's just loading basically the, the form. And here you can see the, the input tag for the username and the password. And what stands out to me right away is this one here. So there's an app.js is being called when you load the homepage. And in there, there's an Ajax request, right? And a URL redirect PHP. And, but when this is successful, so this reads basically, you, you will send the post and then you're being redirected. So post with the username and the password, then there must be some backend logic which verifies that. And if this is successful, you're going to the admin home.php, right? So this is, I copy this out first of all, um, because I presume this is the main website and this is the, the admin portal URL effectively. But what I'm going to try to do now is like, hey, let's, let's give it a chance, you know, like let's just put it in and see what happens. And oh, so there was a redirect. So something popped up quickly and then there was a redirect to a not found. Um, let's check what happened here in Burp. So basically I did my get to admin home PHP and then you see over here, you see a meta refresh tag. And that's basically the redirect. And this is spelled incorrectly, but this is just a side note. So this is why we got the 404 effectively. But um, this is information here before the redirect took place, right? So what I typically like to do in these kind of scenarios is just like scrolling around and see if I see anything interesting. <clears throat> One thing which stands out here is there's a script called admin.js is being called. So let's take a note of the admin.js as well. Let's put it in here and let's call that from the browser as well. But we have to go back here, write admin panel normally, um, or let's just go back. Yeah, it's written like this. And then we put in admin.js. And here we have our JS file, which is pretty much not nice to read. So let's head over to Burp, take a look there. Here's the admin.js file. And you see it's a lot of information in there, right? Like So you can either go through this code line by line if you wish, or you can search for interesting things. Like for example, I always search for API. Like, And here we go. Like immediately I see there is an API key. Right. So let me copy this API key out because that's a vulnerability on its own. Um, an API key should not be hard coded anywhere in the source code period. Right. Like this is, it's just a no go. And then I also see that there is a reset session PHP. So I wonder what this is doing. It's a get request. Let's copy that URL out as well. Um, what else is interesting in such a JavaScript file? What I also like to take a note of is like, cookies, for example, like how cookies are being generated. And here we go. Like I immediately see this document cookie and the variable is called the Zesh. Okay. So this is probably a cookie, which may be used for the administrator, but I don't know the cookie value at that point. So I just copy the, the, the value out here, but let's go on to the next test. Let's basically try to reach this URL, which we found here, the reset session of PHP. And we simply paste this in here and see what it comes back with and nothing. So it didn't really return anything. So up here we see our 200. So it's this one. Let's send this over to repeater and we see nothing really happened, right? Like we didn't get anything back on the reset session PHP. So I'm thinking maybe this, I require like an API key or like an, it's maybe an authenticated call or something. And then we get information. So let's try this. Like, let's just put in this header here, the XIPI key we found earlier and give it a go. And I generated something. So something got generated here, which might be a cookie, you know, like from my experience, it's pretty much looks like a cookie, right? So let's 
give this a try. So maybe this is the, the actual cookie. Maybe I was able to reset the session and generate a new session cookie or something. Um, there's only one way to find out in these kind of scenarios. Now, first of all, let's go back and look for that admin.php, which we had earlier somewhere. Um, that was the admin.js. And let's just take a look again um, where we found this earlier. Uh, we can't seem to locate it at the moment. So let's just stay with me just one minute. That's the admin home of PHP. That's the one I was looking for. Let's send this to the repeater, right? And then if we send this again, you know, like we get nothing really spectacular. We only get like your expenses private, right? So this is not really what I wanted to see. But what happens if I actually add this cookie value and which is the D sesh and the cookie are generated through the reset session. So let's just give this a try here. Hit send and then we, re we render this again. And all of a sudden I have access to the admin panel. Okay, so this, took, this was doing the trick. So now with the right session cookie, you actually have um, access to, to highly confidential information. In this case, it's financial information and billing address and whatnot, and what has been bought and even like the last digits of the, of the credit card or of the debit card, which has been used. So this was an example of, you know, digging through various things, various files, various JavaScript files, URLs, and then being able to actually generate the session cookie yourself and then using that session cookie to gain access to the admin panel. I hope this makes sense and I look forward to see you in the next video.